Meantime, Barrel is enforcing travel alerts, cancellations, and schedule changes amid a busy post-holiday travel period. Well, and we know the crash is on at airports and on the roads as people return from their 4th of July travel. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw live at LAX with the latest conditions on the record travel. Last hour, very busy. Of course, it can vary hour to hour in a terminal depending on when the flights are. So how are people saying it's going there, Jennifer? Lauren and Megan, it's not too bad. Of course, I wouldn't want to be traveling, but this is definitely a good assignment because I was in Santa Clarita yesterday and that was hot. But it only took me about 10 minutes from the 105 to get into the airport, and that's relatively quick, but it still is busy. You can see the lines out here. Obviously, uh, people need to check their bags, and that could take quite some time. But I read online that it only takes about 30 minutes to get through TSA, and if you have pre-check, you're even in a better situation. Now, AAA is projecting that more than 70 million people are traveling over this 4th of July. The airline industry it's even breaking records. Thursday was the fifth busiest day in TSA history with nearly 3 million passengers, more than the Sunday after Thanksgiving last year. In fact, overall, nearly 6 million people were likely to fly to their July 4th destinations. That's an increase of 7% compared to last year. And today, of course, I had to catch up with some cute little travelers from New York to talk about how their journey has been so far. Where are you guys traveling to? How has it been so far? How was your 4th of July? We're going to New York and we had a lovely 4th of July. We didn't ha um, see the fireworks though. Did you fall asleep too early? Yes. Party too hard? Um, yes. Yes, I did. Are you going home or do you live in Los Angeles? We're going home, but our, but our, my mom's sister lives in Los Angeles, so we're going to see her. We're, we, we were going to see her. So the big question today, who's nicer, California people or New York people? Uh, I think California. Ah, well, I'm glad you guys had fun in the sun. Yeah. Can you say happy for it? Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. I'm obsessed with those kids. Think about all the cute things they said. They had a lovely 4th of July, and of course, here in California, we're just better. But anyway, millions <laughs> more people hit the road today. AAA projects a record 60.6 .6 million people will travel by car over this Independence Day week. That's an additional 2.8 million travelers compared to last year. If you are hitting the road and you're coming home today, the worst time to travel is 2 to 8, and if you're hitting the road tomorrow, the worst time to travel will be from 1 to 5. So take that into consideration as you're hitting the road and coming back from your holiday week. That's very latest. We're live at LAX. Back to you in the studio.